Can this really replace this for your Nintendo Switch? Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I borrowed my daughter's Nintendo Switch because I keep watching her travel with this. These are docks and they're really nice, but they're big and they're a little clunky. And I read about this company that makes a small device this size that actually replaces the dock. And I thought, hmm, let's see if that's actually true. Now this is the Hagabus Switch Dock, and it's a portable TV dock and charging station. And you'll notice on the front that it has three ports, and they are USB-A, HDMI, and USB-C. How does that work? Well, the USB-C, I have a Nintendo charger here, so we're gonna go ahead and just plug USB-C into the dock, and then we need HDMI. Well, I happen to have a computer monitor here with no speakers, so I plugged in an external speaker. So let's see if all this works. HDMI, so I'm plugging this in too. And now I can use USB-A if I need to. You could, for example, I think hook up some speakers through that if you wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna actually just do it right off of the display device as if it was a television with built-in speakers. And then there's USB-C on the end. Now, all of this generally fits into the back of the dock, but we don't really wanna do that. So. I'm gonna take her switch. This is not the switch light because the switch light, hopefully you realize the difference, it doesn't have video out. So the switch light ain't gonna cut it. But let's turn this on and look at that. It is working and you're saying, interesting. Okay, and notice we also got the sound and I can use this as if I was just using regular old, you know, the switch, or I was using it on a TV. And you can hear I have the volume up pretty loud, but yes, this is fully functional. This is working just fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring up Fortnite because Fortnite actually has theme music when it's in the warm up screen. So let me just have a second here to get this screen on. And now it's loading, so it'll do that for just a little bit. Doesn't take too long on a good internet connection. And we should switch into Fortnite and we should be able to enjoy the Fortnite music too. There we go. And so there's everything. I'm using the controllers from the Switch's perspective. It thinks that everything's hunky-dory and it's in a dock or something. And you could see, I guess if I go back to the home screen, let's bounce back there now. It is charging. You can see that little electrical bolt right next to the battery indicator. So all of that is happening. And what have I done here? I've plugged this in here. I have used the original Nintendo Switch charger with USB-C. And I just have HDMI going into a display device, right? I could just as easily have this into a TV. I could be in a hotel room. And as long as I brought my own HDMI cable, I could plug my Switch or my daughter's Switch into a huge TV in a hotel and lay back and enjoy it or watch her enjoy exploring Zelda or something. So it's really a pretty remarkable device. And obviously this size difference is ridiculous. And not only that, but these docks are expensive. This is the Animal Crossing Special Edition dock. That's even more expensive, but that's another story. Even the most generic dock is a lot more expensive than this device. Now, let me unplug it again so you can again see just how small this thing is. It's really remarkable. It's that big, that's it. So what does it have? Like I said, it has HDMI out and that's up to 4K at 30 Hertz. That USB 3 port can do 10 gigabits per second and it works with the Nintendo Switch or the Samsung DeX and other devices that can push video out through USB-C. This might be worth trying out too. I'm not gonna promise anything. Um, it is a 100 watt power delivery port from USB-C to the actual device. So remember, this is not a 100 watt charger, but it works perfectly well. And I could use a more powerful charger if I wanted to, and that would charge the switch even faster. 
it does require external power. If you plug this into your switch and then you plug HDMI into a TV or any other display system or a projector, how fun would that be, right? It's not gonna work because you have to power the dock. That's really important. And they say at least 39 watts. So if you have like a little 20 watt charger for your tablet or something, and you think you can use it with this, it's just not enough juice. You're gonna wanna give it a little more power. So use your original switch power charger. Works great as you can see. Now, this is also the most muted of all the colors. There's six different styles and color combinations. Three of them have the HDMI and the USB-C switched. So three of them are a little bit more square. And in these three with the HDMI in the middle are a little bit sleeker. So six different combinations. So now you're wondering, all right, well, how much is it? I mean, these docks, they're pretty expensive. So how much does it cost to replace it with this little tiny gizmo? And before we get there, <laughs> I'm gonna ask if you could subscribe to my channel. A click or a tap on that subscribe button, turn on notifications also, and we're connected. Great, so this, let me turn it this way. This is the Hagibus Switch Dock, six different color combinations, $19.99 at amazon.com. You heard me right, $19.99. And when we bought it, we actually bought, I bought three, one for each of my kids, and we got it on Prime Day with 5% discount and everything. It ended up being about $14 each. And now all three of my kids just have these in their switch bags. So whenever they go somewhere, if they decide they don't wanna play on this little screen, but they have access to a bigger screen, they now have everything they need to make that work way better. These docks are really nice. It's a really solid and reliable connection, but you know what? So is this and look how much smaller it is. So that's all I got. If you're a Switch fan or if you have a Samsung DeX, I'm not sure what that is, but if you have one of those, this is a really interesting thing to check out. I have a link in my description. That's all I got. I better get this disconnected before I start ruining my daughter's Fortnite streaks. So I'll have to catch you in my next video.